Hi everyone, it's Margaret Manning here with 60 and Me. We are on phase two, part two of our journey to Nice. And today we are visiting uh, several museums. We've had a fabulous talk this morning about the history of, uh, in fact, French um, government and art. It's all kind of intricately woven together, but it's really fascinating. We're at the, at the Matisse Museum right now. We're about to go inside. I'm not sure if I can take pictures, but uh, it's a really beautiful day. Very cool, but um, lovely bright. And again, one of the themes here has been always the light down in, in this part of uh, France. It's just spectacular. So hopefully you'll enjoy this little tour around the Matisse Museum. Hi everyone, well we have just spent one hour looking around the Matisse Museum. It's absolutely fantastic. And the painting behind me is one that he painted when he returned from a trip to Tahiti. And it's my absolute favorite one. Hi everyone. Well, we have just had a beautiful morning at the Matisse Museum in Nice. Uh, just a fantastic uh, experience. And then this afternoon we're going to the Chicole Museum. But right now we're walking through a little garden. It's a beautiful garden in a Franciscan uh, monastery. And there is a beautiful view apparently of the city of Nice up ahead. So I'm going to take a picture. The weather's gorgeous. It's been really lovely temperature. And uh, I've learned so much about this part of the world and the uh, things that inspired the artists like Matisse and Chagall and uh, so many others to come down here and do their, their work. So uh, here's going to be a nice shot of Nice. Hi everyone, it's Margaret here, 60 and Me. I am on the Road Scholar Winter in Southern Europe tour and I'm in uh, Nice. But today we have headed up to Antibes, which is a small town where there is the Picasso Museum. It's a, a Chateau Guirimaldi and the Chateau was a place where he created lots of works of art for many years. And we're hoping that the museum is going to have some great selection of his uh, pieces and I'll share them with you. Hi everyone. Well, that was a really beautiful uh, tour through this Picasso Museum. Uh, the museum actually has a lot of other artists' work, Nicholas de Stahl and a few others. You know, I'm not a big art historian. I don't know much about art and there were some things I really didn't understand. But in the context of the place where people uh, painted this uh, beautiful works of art, it's really, really amazing. And Picasso only lived here for a couple of months, but he did such an amazing amount of uh, work. He was very prolific. So I'm going to show you around the terrace here, which is overlooking the sea. It's really just spectacular. And uh, then we're going to enter the town of Antibes and I'll take some more pictures there. But just wanted to share this moment with you. We've just left the Picasso Museum and now we're going to look through the old town of Antibes. Oh, 
Hi everyone, we are now at the Russian Cathedral in Nice and it's a really amazing building. I'm going to turn the camera around so you can see it in a second. But just another beautiful building, another part of this incredible experience. everyone, we've left the city of Nice and we're going to St. Paul de Vance, which is an old medieval town. We're going to visit some art museums there and spend some time in the old town. Looking forward to it. Hope you enjoy these pictures. Well, today we're visiting the Meg Foundation. It's a private art museum with modern art from many different artists just outside of St. Paul de Vance. There's an amazing story behind the foundation and how it was created by the founders, um, the Meg family, after the death of their son to basically heal themselves through art. And it's a beautiful museum. I'm going to show you some of the things inside, but the landscape is just incredible as well. So I just wanted to share this moment with you. We are now in the town of St. Paul de Vance, which is a lovely little medieval town with winding streets and beautiful little boutique shops, art galleries and wonderful little cafes. So we're going to take some pictures to show you what it's like and uh, just enjoy this experience. This is a beautiful overlook in the village of St. Paul de Vance, just overlooking the amazing French countryside in Provence. It's beautiful. Hi everyone, I'm at the Matisse Chapel and we've been here for about an hour uh, and it's the most extraordinary place I've ever been. It's a chapel of worship, it's a spiritual place, but it is uh, built and decorated in every dimension by Henri Matisse. Uh, he was an artist, of course, and it, his work is just um, incredible. It, uh, it, the simplicity, the way that he developed the theme of this, of this beautiful chapel and how it lives on. It's a place of worship. And um, I'm going to show you some pictures that I was able to take, but we weren't allowed to take pictures through most of the, uh, the most of the chapel. But I just wanted to share this moment with you and um, just and encourage you if you ever have an opportunity to visit it in uh, in Nice, please do that. Thanks, everybody. Hi everyone. Well, we are now on our way to Monaco from Nice and we've stopped at the most amazing overlook. Uh, behind me you can see Villefranche and I'm going to turn the camera around and show you Cape Ferrat, which is a peninsula. This is truly the magic of the Côte d'Azur. This is where all of the amazing films have been made, those winding roads with car chases and movie stars, and also just the wealth and, ab and abundance and opulence of the Côte d'Azur and this part of France. So we're going to have a day in Monaco, we're going to look around Monte Carlo, and then head back to Nice. Um, so it's just been a fantastic day. The weather is just gorgeous. Sun is shining, it's going to be up in the 60s Fahrenheit today, and I hope that you're enjoying this journey with us.
We're now in the port of Monaco and I'm going to show you a picture of all the amazing yachts. Hi there. Well, we are now at the Villa Frazee de Rothschild. It's a beautiful villa in uh, just off, well, it's near Nice. It's 10 miles from Nice, but it's an old home that was uh, purchased right on the um, peninsula overlooking the sea. Just fantastic. And we are here now to explore the gardens and also to uh, just look at the house. Uh, it's, um, uh, it's become a, a sort of cultural center and it's just a wonderful opportunity. Road Scholar manages to take you to these very special places. And that's what has made this, uh, this uh, winter in Southern Europe uh, event in Nice so special. We've gone to art museums, galleries, but now we're here in a beautiful garden. The, it's the Uffizi Villa, or Uffizi um, Villa of Rothschild. And I'll know a little bit more about it in about half an hour, but right now I just wanted to introduce it to you and take some pictures to share the experience with you. Hi everyone. So this is the end of our Road Scholar program, our winter in Southern Europe, uh, mostly based in Nice, but we're today in Monaco and I found a lovely quiet spot and a little garden overlooking the sea. And I just wanted to thank you all again for joining me on this adventure. It was so much fun sharing it with you. I know that uh, we're gonna try to do some cruises together in the new year and uh, just you know, traveling together with a group but still having time to sneak off and do things by yourself. It's such a beautiful opportunity. So thanks again for your support, for being here with me, and hope that you enjoy this, um, these two videos I've done, uh, taking you along with me on this Road Scholar adventure. Thanks again, everyone. Love you. Bye-bye.